What if I told you there's a trillion dollar initiative reshaping the economic and political landscape of the world? Yes, we're talking about the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI. This monumental endeavor is not just redefining trade routes but also altering geopolitical dynamics. It's a story of ambition, development and global influence that is shaping our present and will continue to influence our future. Intrigued? Let's delve into the origins and development of this ambitious project. The roots of the Belt and Road Initiative can be traced back to the year 2013. It was during this year that the President of China, Xi Jinping, announced an ambitious plan to the world. A plan that would not only transform China's economic landscape but also have far-reaching implications on the global economy. The Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI as it's often referred to, was initially projected as a network of infrastructure projects, encompassing over 60 countries across Asia, Europe and Africa. The Belt refers to the land-based Silk Road Economic Belt, and the road harks back to the Maritime Silk Road. The initiative was designed to create a vast web of railways, highways, pipelines and ports, all aimed at bolstering trade, investment, and regional cooperation. The intention behind this massive endeavor was twofold. On one hand, China aimed to stimulate its slowing economy by exporting its industrial capabilities overseas. On the other hand, it sought to increase its global influence by strengthening relationships with countries along the Belt and Road. The international community's initial reaction to the BRI was mixed. While some countries welcomed the initiative, viewing it as a golden opportunity for economic development, others expressed skepticism. Concerns were raised about the potential for debt traps, environmental impact, and China's geopolitical ambitions. Despite these concerns, the Belt and Road Initiative was hailed by many as a game-changer. It was seen as a bold attempt to reshape the contours of the global economy, creating new trade routes and fostering unprecedented levels of connectivity. The initiative was also viewed as a testament to China's growing economic prowess and its aspirations to play a more prominent role on the global stage. Thus began the journey of this ambitious initiative. But how has it evolved since then? From an audacious announcement to a global influence, the Belt and Road Initiative has come a long way. The Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, has experienced a significant expansion since its inception in 2013. This has been an era of unprecedented growth and influence, with the initiative now spanning across multiple continents and involving a large number of countries. BRI's expansion was not a random occurrence. It was a well-calculated move, orchestrated meticulously with strategic investments and a series of key projects spread across its participating nations. The initiative, originally encompassing a few countries, has now spread its wings to over 100 nations and international organizations. This rapid expansion reflects China's ambition to establish itself as a global economic power. The magnitude of projects undertaken as part of BRI is mind-boggling. They range from the construction of ports in Pakistan, railways in Laos, to vast network of highways in Kenya. These infrastructural projects are not only a testimony to the initiative's vast reach, but also its commitment to fostering global connectivity. The financial aspect of BRI's expansion is equally impressive. China has poured billions of dollars into these projects, with investment figures reaching heights that would make even the most seasoned economist raise an eyebrow. To put it into perspective, according to some estimates, the total investment in BRI projects outpaces the Marshall Plan, which helped rebuild Europe after the Second World War, by a considerable margin. In the span of a decade, BRI has transformed from a visionary proposal to a global initiative with tangible impact. It has managed to create a network of trade and cooperation that spans continents, cultures and economies. Whether it's a port in Sri Lanka, a railway in Central Asia or a highway in East Africa, the fingerprints of the BRI are unmistakable. However, it is important to note that this journey of expansion was not a smooth ride. The initiative faced and continues to face a myriad of challenges. The expansion of the BRI was swift and wide-ranging, but it wasn't without its challenges. The next segment will delve into these challenges and how they are being addressed. Like any grand plan, the Belt and Road Initiative has faced its share of obstacles. In the realm of political resistance, the BRI has encountered significant pushback. Some nations have expressed concern about China's increasing influence, viewing the initiative as a strategic tool for Beijing to wield global dominance. There is a fear that participating countries might fall into a debt trap, becoming overly reliant on Chinese investment and thus, susceptible to political pressure. 
The transparency of the projects has also been questioned, with critics arguing that the terms and conditions of many deals remain undisclosed, leading to suspicions of hidden agendas. The financial sustainability of the BRI is another major challenge. With an estimated total cost of over $1 trillion, it is one of the most expensive infrastructure projects in history. The sheer scale of the venture raises questions about its financial viability. In some instances, projects have been canceled or stalled due to financial constraints, casting doubts on the overall feasibility of the initiative. Moreover, the economic fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic has further exacerbated these financial concerns, straining the budgets of many participating countries. Lastly, we cannot overlook the environmental concerns associated with the BRI. The construction of infrastructure on such an enormous scale inevitably impacts the environment. There are worries about the potential for significant environmental damage, including deforestation, pollution, and biodiversity loss. The initiative's heavy reliance on fossil fuels for energy projects is also at odds with global efforts to combat climate change. In sum, the Belt and Road Initiative is grappling with a complex web of challenges. Political resistance, financial sustainability and environmental concerns are all significant hurdles that need to be addressed. These obstacles are not insurmountable but they do require a careful and thoughtful approach. These challenges have shaped the BRI's trajectory but how has China responded to these issues? Scene script. China, faced with a multitude of challenges, had to make some adjustments to its Belt and Road Initiative. Indeed the road to progress is rarely smooth. The Belt and Road Initiative, a grand vision of connecting continents through a network of infrastructure has encountered its fair share of hurdles. From economic to environmental and political complexities, China found itself needing to recalibrate its approach to keep the wheels of this ambitious project turning. One such adjustment was in the realm of investment strategies. Initially China leaned heavily on a state-driven model, with Chinese state-owned enterprises leading the charge. However the risks and pressures associated with this approach soon became apparent. In response, China has started to encourage private sector participation and international cooperation. This shift aims to distribute risk more evenly, attract diverse expertise, and promote a more sustainable financing model. Project Selection 2 underwent a transformation. China initially prioritized large-scale high-visibility projects. Think colossal ports, sprawling railways and towering bridges. However, the high cost and risk associated with these mega-projects, along with growing concerns about debt sustainability in partner countries, led to a change in tack. China began to look towards smaller, more manageable projects with quicker returns, a shift from quantity to quality if you will. Moreover, China has shown increased sensitivity to the environmental impact of its projects. Recognizing the potential for ecological damage, China has taken steps to incorporate green and sustainable practices into its Belt and Road projects. This includes stricter environmental standards and guidelines for project implementation. China is also making efforts to foster greater transparency and improve governance in its Belt and Road projects. This is in response to criticisms about the lack of transparency and allegations of corruption. By doing so, China aims to build trust and improve the overall image of the initiative. These adjustments have shaped the current state of the BRI, but what does the future hold? Well, as the saying goes, the only constant is change. As the Belt and Road Initiative continues to evolve, we can expect more adjustments and adaptations in the years to come. The Belt and Road Initiative is a long-term project. Its future has implications for the entire world. This is not just a Chinese endeavor, but a global one, designed to knit together continents and cultures in a new kind of cooperative exchange. Looking forward we can anticipate several potential developments. First, the initiative may expand further, reaching into new territories. Africa, with its vast resources and untapped potential, could be a prime candidate for future Belt and Road projects. There's also the possibility of extending into the Americas, creating a truly global network of trade and infrastructure. Next, we should expect new partnerships to emerge. The initiative isn't exclusive to any one country or bloc, it's an open platform for cooperation. As the initiative grows, more countries may see the benefits and decide to join. These new partners could bring fresh ideas, resources and perspectives to the table, enriching the initiative and making it more robust and resilient. But perhaps the most significant development will be the impact on global trade and politics. The Belt and Road Initiative has the potential to reshape the world's economic and political landscape. It could create new trade routes that bypass traditional power centers, shifting the balance of economic power, 
It could also foster a new kind of international politics, one based on mutual benefit and cooperation, rather than competition and conflict. These are, of course, potential scenarios. The actual future of the Belt and Road Initiative will depend on a multitude of factors, including the policies of participating countries, the global economic situation, and unforeseen challenges. But one thing is clear. The initiative is a game-changer. It's a bold vision for a more interconnected and cooperative world. The future of the Belt and Road Initiative remains to be seen, but its impact is undeniable. It's a venture that's already changing the world, and its trajectory suggests that it will continue to do so for decades to come. The Belt and Road Initiative is more than just an infrastructural project, it's a geopolitical game-changer. When we talk about the Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, we're not just discussing the construction of roads, railways, and ports. We're delving into a project that is shifting the very fabric of global economics and politics. The BRI is not merely a physical connection between the East and West, it is a metaphorical bridge that is redefining power dynamics and trade patterns around the globe. Imagine the world as a chessboard, with each nation occupying a square. The BRI is like a new piece on the board, altering the way the game is played. Countries that were once on the periphery are now key players thanks to the opportunities brought forth by this initiative. The BRI is reshaping the global economic landscape making Asia a more dominant player and China a superpower. Trade, the lifeblood of any economy is also experiencing a transformation. The traditional maritime routes that have dominated global trade for centuries are now being complemented by a vast network of land and sea routes thanks to BRI. These new routes are not only shortening the distance between markets but also diversifying the avenues of trade. This diversification is fostering increased interdependence among nations, leading to a more interconnected world. Moreover, the BRI is also having a profound impact on global politics. By investing in infrastructure projects in various countries, China is not just creating trade routes but also building relationships. This is subtly shifting the balance of power, as countries within the BRI's reach are finding themselves more aligned with China's sphere of influence. But it's not just about power and politics. The BRI, with its focus on connectivity and cooperation, is also fostering cultural exchange and mutual understanding among nations. It's promoting a more inclusive global community, one that is built on shared interests and common goals. The Belt and Road Initiative, a project of massive scale, has and will continue to shape the world in profound ways. So, we've taken a journey from the beginnings of the Belt and Road Initiative to its potential future. Let's take a moment to reflect on all that we've uncovered in this fascinating exploration. We started with the inception of this ambitious project, its roots tracing back to China's endeavor to boost its economic growth and expand its global influence. The Belt and Road Initiative, or BRI, was born out of a vision for a more interconnected world, a world where trade and commerce are not hindered by geographical boundaries. From there, we delved into the expansion of the BRI. It's not just a network of roads and railways, it's an intricate web of ports, pipelines, and digital infrastructure spanning across continents. The scale of this project is truly awe-inspiring, and it's a testament to the sheer determination and ambition of its architects. However, like any grand project, the BRI has had its share of challenges. We discussed the economic, environmental, and political hurdles it has faced, and the criticisms it has weathered. Yet, despite these obstacles, the initiative has shown resilience and adaptability. We looked at the adjustments made to address these challenges, from policy shifts to a more inclusive approach to partnerships. Next, we explored the potential future of the BRI and its far-reaching impacts. It's more than just an infrastructure project. It's a catalyst for economic growth, a driver for technological advancement, and a platform for cultural exchange. The ripple effects of the BRI are felt worldwide, influencing economies, politics and societies in ways we're only beginning to understand. In conclusion, the Belt and Road Initiative is a colossal undertaking, a bold vision brought to life through sheer determination and tireless effort. Its journey thus far has been marked by triumphs and trials, successes and setbacks. Yet, it continues to push forward, reshaping the global landscape in its wake. As we continue to monitor the progress of this massive initiative, one thing is clear. The Belt and Road Initiative is a testament to the power of vision and ambition.